All right, warriors, for our discus throw, we're first gonna start with a hand position. You're gonna start with your hand flush against the discus and just the very edge of our fingertips will be on the edge. Thumb's never gonna make it on the outside, it's gonna rest right on top, but you are gonna keep your hand pretty flush to the discus. You wanna have this feeling of, of uh, tension on the edge of your fingertips. I, I start, I start with a couple of, of swings here so I can feel what it's like to come off the fingers. Feel all that pressure on the fingertips. Next up, we have our classic bowling drill. We do want the discus to come off either the first finger, second finger, or a combination of both. And it's, it's individual to each the thrower. For years and years, I've always thrown off my middle finger. Could never throw off my first finger. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but the bowling drill, it helps remind you that you want this to come off the thumb side of your fingertips, of your hand. A lot of new throwers, it's going to come out the back of the hand. It might look pretty, but it's not going to go very far. So we want to make sure we come out the thumb side. Um, I've heard cues as far as squeezing a bar of soap or turning a doorknob, something to get it to come in this direction. For the bowling drill, we're just going to take a step and let it roll off the first or second finger. Oh, that's a good roll. That's a good roll. You might want to do maybe five, ten of these just as a warm up, just to remind yourself what it's like to come off that first finger. Next up, we can do actual drills with a cone or something heavy, maybe a, maybe a two pound ball, something that's not that's a, about the same weight as our discus, to go into our stand throw. This is just working the range of motion. My water bottle. You can get creative, you can use a cone, I've, I've used some rebar before, but we're gonna start with our, just go this way. Power position, very similar to our shot put. Heel to toe, take a step out. It might not be as wide as the shot, but maybe it's just about hip width apart. We're still gonna hang out right on the heavy on this right side. I'm going to wind up, and here's my high point, here's my low point. Try to keep the hands opposite so that they're never really close together. You're gonna wind up, again, toe, knee to hip, then you're gonna flip open. Notice I'm trying to stay back on this right foot as long as possible so that as I follow through, I have some wiggle room to fall forward. If you're too far forward on your left on your follow through, everything's gonna tumble out of the circle. So for just demonstration, just to work on getting that long wind up, wind back. It's just something that reminds you, the, the discus is very long. It's very long and very patient. So there's a lot of power coming from the legs and getting this torque. So if you can stay long and patient and throw through, you'll get that little bit of release. Now with the discus itself, again, fingertips, get your heel to toe, you're gonna have to wind up on this one. The shot put you can get all set and, line, and get set up here. Discus, the, the gravity's gonna take over. So we're just going to wind it up. Low point, high point. And again, it's gonna come off middle finger, first finger, combination of both, right about here. One of the, uh, one of the drills to lead up into the full throw is the half turn drill. The half turn starts the right foot in the center of the circle. Chest to the center, heavy on this right side. We're gonna keep our chest over top of the knee over top of the foot. <laughs> you're going to wind up and you're going to rotate into your power position. So it's really important to make sure you keep the discus long behind you and lead everything with this right hip. It's going to push forward and around. Right hip push forward and around. Right there. So the release part, we're going to wind it up, push forward and around, pull through. Still going to follow through with a long arm, locking with the left through with your stand throw. The next version is a little bit longer. It's the South African drill. So you may start with one foot out of the circle to just a drill only. It won't count for an actual throw. But we're just going to add in one extra step. It's this one step to the half turn. So we'll wind it up. One step into the half turn. Pull through. So all the same rules apply. Staying back with the right hand. Nice and long. Pull through. That's the South African drill. All right, moving into the full throw. Very important to make sure out of the back of the circle, we're gonna set up, sitting down on the legs, almost like a front squat, so your torso is up, not really bent over, somewhat up. Give me a little shift onto your left leg, and as you wind up, right here. Arms gonna stay back behind you. Left hand is out in front. I'd love to see this left arm staying out the front in line with your chin. The first motion is actually this right leg is gonna start to take off, and you're gonna pivot around the left foot around. This brings us to a 360 drill. You're going to push around. Just trying to end up right back where you started. 
push around. Leading with the right foot because the actual motion, I like to talk about one, two, three, and four. One is your initial setup. Left hand in front, right on behind you. Two is you're gonna pivot on the left and you're gonna step to the center with the right. And this is also to your half turn. So we'll do that again. Here's position one to position two. Position three is your half turn into your power position. And here's your power position. Position four is just the follow through. So to keep it simple, think one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Ideally, you'd like to have a lot of pivot on this left. So that as you turn, you can sprint to the center. Get some drag, get some linear motion in the direction of the throw. Still staying low on the leg. Pivot around again. Here's that power position. Shoulders back, arm way back here, and pull. 